Hey guys, today we're going to be looking at the Junkyard Tower. It's literally a pile of junk that I just put together. Uh, I had a couple of extra pyre launchers, so I really wanted to see what 4 was like, and I couldn't be bothered. Uh, I, well, I built a larger version of the missile stug, and it was far too slow uh, and unmaneuverable. So I just put this together just to have a quick look, and I thought the extra height might stop the missiles uh, from hitting the dirt. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, already, um, I'm regretting not putting the missile launchers on multiple key bindings. Uh, as you can see, uh, you know, I'll look at one thing and then the missiles will just come out and hit a wall or something uh, to one side. So what I would probably do or recommend others do is perhaps put them all on one side and just play as I played the stug, turn your weak side away. Um, fire, you know, rotate two of them and fire and then put your shield side back up. Because then your all four of your missiles are making sure they're hitting the target and you can do it on one key. Uh, but if you want to split them like this, I recommend uh, you run them on two different key bindings. That way you don't have to fire them all when you're not looking correctly at the target. But, as you can see, it's already doing quite well, although that auto cannon is just tearing it apart. Yeah, it seems, uh, I've seen this before, scaffolding, uh, well, the grill uh, doesn't hold up well under explosive damage, and the auto cannon rounds are explosive. So I guess you'll just have to watch out for that, try and hide when uh, missiles and auto cannons are around. The same inconveniences still plague the pyre launchers, in my opinion. Um, you know, they really take away from skill-based combat and being able to get in there and uh, fight. Um, and, you know, a lot of time it does come down to chance. You'll fire at things, and if they just drive behind a wall or something, well, you've got nothing. And, well, you can't risk it. Sometimes you just got to fire and hope for the best, because otherwise you'll miss your window. And then, the game, you know, then you'll be the last man on the team or something. Depending on how far out of the combat you are. As you can see there, missiles not good. <laughs> the tower really doesn't hold up well under explosive damage. It is nice though, with the four launches, the damage increases. Um, and it is easier to secure kills, which is obviously the best way to level. I do find it uh, quite frustrating when missiles just hit multiple targets. Also, with this tower raised, the minimum range is slightly further away. Uh, on, in this dog, when I was low to the ground and the missiles were facing sideways, uh, my my combat range was very close. I was able to fight things that were next to me, but because I've mounted them on a tower Things will have to be slightly further away for me to hit them Which is still better than if you mount them facing up, um, you know that range is a lot longer Because they fire up first before they can come down they can't do a sharp turn I really thought that missile would hit there. There's not much you can do uh, with a tower like this. You just gotta wiggle. Um, you know, I'm not wiggling enough here, but you need to wiggle and make sure that the enemy just sort of misses or don't give them an easy target. Here we go. See that? Just dodge that bullet. And if you dodge a cannon bullet like that, you're buying yourself, you know, five seconds. Uh, it's quite annoying that even though I've raised it on a tower, it's still hitting a little hill over there. Ah, uh, that one made it. I 
I mean, it, it is nice when you get four. I could definitely, I wish I had maybe eight. If you were launching eight missiles at a time, you'd certainly be a lot deadlier, especially when targets are isolated. In a group like this, even eight would still be not that great because you're just kind of hitting everything. But if you can get up to the hurricane launches, you can actually launch eight missiles. So they're probably very much an end game uh, weapon, not so much an early game weapon for new players. As much as we want to try them, if you get one or two, you won't be too impressed. Ooh, hello. There's not much I can do at this point. Uh, just sort of wiggling around, praying someone else shows up. Oh, there we go. I'll take that chance. I'll just sort of stay behind him. If nothing else, uh, he's a frontal melee, so if I stay behind him, he can't get me. Uh, he lost a wheel. He lost a wheel and he can't turn. Safe. Thanks guys, like and subscribe for more content.